Guys, welcome back to FTB Legend of the Eyes episode 4. Now guys, in this episode, I would like to start off with some applied energistic. First thing I want to test is this flow budding certus quartz. Now, does this thing produce quartz or it doesn't? This is what I want to test. Now, what I need is some charged certus quartz and I need the charger and I need an energy acceptor, which requires quartz glass. Perfect. Now I will take solar panels from here and this should convert the energy. Yeah, the acceptor converts the energy that the industrial revolution solar generators generate into applied energistic energy. Now I need some quartz. This one. Perfect. Next some water. The charged certus quartz and the certus quartz block. And we need to throw them into water. And we get a damaged budding certus quartz. Now if I charge this again. Get this, throw it into water, then I should get chipped but insertus quartz. And then if I throw them into water again, I get a float. Now, I believe this is all we can get by manually generating budding crystals. Yep, it doesn't work. Now, let's actually place it here and place this. Will this produce quartz? If it does, that would be amazing. Well. Only time will show. All right, guys. So it didn't take much time, but it does grow. So I'm going to make a few of those. All right. I made six. Then I need an inscriber. Take a piston. Yes, we can. Inscriber. Now we can place this here. We also need silicone, which is basically smelted certus quartz, right? I think so. Yep. Okay. And we can do it here. Well, let's smell four. They will never go to waste. We also need to smell some skystone. Nice. Then we need a diamond. We need this one. This one. Okay, it's working. Perfect. Perfect. Then silicon press with a silicon. Very nice. And then we combine the two with some redstone to make a processor, I believe. Engineering process. Processor. Nice. Okay, we have the skystone block. Should be here. Then. The only thing we need is some Fluix Crystal. Right, throw this into water, two redstone, two never quartz, and just wait. Oh, right, ME controller. Nice. What's this here? Perfect. All right, next. We can use a millstone to get some dust from the quartz crystals, but these guys are growing. I'm not sure they will grow more than that. Oh, they do. Small, medium. Nice. Anyways, right, some dust because I wanted to make some quartz fiber then you use that together with two fluix crystal get some fluix me cables actually place them i want more inscribers this should be easy one two three now we need more what do you call it flux crystal looks likes looks what else do we need me drive nothing perfect we got an me drive Next thing we need is a storage component. All right, guys. Printed logic circuits are made with gold. And then we combine this two with the redstone to get, what do you call it? A logic process. Then we also need four chart circuits quartz and some redstone. Actually, it doesn't have to be a large thing. It doesn't. Here, one KME storage component. Nice. Some quartz plus perfect. And then we need housing. I bind the two and you get the 1k ME item storage cell which we place into the drive. Next thing is a terminal. Right guys, I also place some hoppers behind the inscribers which makes it much easier for the circuit process. And I've also crafted four more of those things with float budding certus quartz crystals. And yeah, that's all I've been doing. Next thing I want is a millstone. I believe it's very easy to get sources are not that much it's just one underside casing and the side and a cogwheel also need some wheels and water wheels hopefully one is enough i think one is enough like this to be somewhere around here yep hopper millstone and then maybe this way a hopper yeah perfect now i want small oops Right, I actually add one more for maximum speed. Right, like I saw. 
Now, if I add a water wheel like so, then just switch it until it goes the correct way. Oh, perfect, perfect. Then you need a block here and a water source, which I don't have. Oops. Now I will have. Perfect. Perfect. No, 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 no. It was stressed, so maybe we need two water wheels. Yep. Well, let's just remove one stress level. Right. This way. Perfect. It is working. Very nice. Now we can actually place, for example, Sertus Squirts inside here. And it will be processed into Sertus Squirts Dust. Nice. What else do we need for this? Oh, we need another one of those. Alright. Nice. Now can we make the crafting terminal? Calculation. Very nice. Very nice. Alright guys, so I AFK'd for a few hours and these guys produce certain sports clusters as well. I want to get one with silk touch just in case. Just in case. Maybe I'll need it for a setup later. Alright. Nice. How many is that? Oh, stuck. That's amazing. Alright guys, we are crafting the ME pattern encoding terminal. Nice. Now we combine the two. Very nice. Now it's crafting. This is amazing. This is amazing guys. It's done. Perfection. Alright guys, next thing I want to do, I want to connect our previous storage with the this storage. Alright, I guess I'll just move it by hand. Alright guys, I moved everything. I moved everything here, just under the ME system. And I upgraded all our chests to netherite. And I also added some extra chests. Hopefully this will be enough for a long time. Alright guys, next thing I would like to do is actually get... A compressor, a solid infuser, and a pulverizer in their factory version. What do we need? We need a lot of these MK4 circuits, which means we need enriched nicolite ingots, which means we need nicolite dust and diamonds. So I'm guessing I would need to make two mining rig drills for diamond and nicolite. But yeah, I guess then we need some power. I would like to know how much does this thing consume. Where can I see it? It seems to be con consuming so much. 400 and left. That doesn't seem to be very much, guys. How much does that make? Hmm, right. So yeah, guys. We need to set up an energy enough to support this mining rig computer. How do we do this? How? I decided to test out the solar panels. Nice. Well, let's see, can we make a starter solar panel? We can, but 12. Well, let's make 12 then. That's amazing. Nice. Nice. Alright, now we need some gold, iron. Guys, we'll do it this way. Hopefully, here is okay. I don't think it needs to be that close, but why not? And then we need patterns to have patterns craft we can that's amazing that is amazing because i don't want to do this by hand now we need both energized energized steel need this rest i don't remember if we need an me system input let's check this out crafting this thing is quite slow okay so it did craft but it needs an input back in the me import bus here Okay, perfect. It's going back into the system. I think we're out of blazes. Yep, out of blaze power. Let's go find some blazes. All right, guys. The best way to explore the never for me right now is just dig with this amazing drill. I don't see any other way. Well, we can use the elytra for places like that. Ah, I don't want to. Oops, that was bad. Anyways, uh, so far... No nether fortress, but we will find one for sure. Guys, I see it. Guys, I've been digging all the way. I dug here, and then all the way. You can see the tunnel here. I don't know why you see it here. Don't see it here. Anyways, I 
I've been digging this way so soon. Soon we will be here. I'll see you there. Oh, look at it, guys. We're at the fortress. Oh my god, it's a huge one. That's what she said. <laughs> Anyways, I've got a soul crystal with me. I might actually make a blaze farm. Alright guys, I found a blaze spawner. Let's kill our first victim. Very nice, very nice. This guy's just hit level 3. Ah! See? That's awesome. We got some blaze powders. Sorry, blaze rods now. This is amazing. Fantastic. Amazing. Fantastic. And what, you know what else? I've got issues with guys' food. What does it take to build a fisher? A sawmill. Okay. Should be able to make the fisher. Nice. Basic fisher. Right. Okay, it needs some power. Power, power, power. Get this. Actually, can we do it like this? can that's amazing but it's uh, actually perfect because we will have some food now actually that's not going to be our food source but we can use the fish to make barbecue on a stick which is a good source of food all right guys let's see i've spent like five minutes maybe seven making the fisher very nice very nice place powder let's make a pattern for this it's here now let's see if we can craft the hardened solar panel. We make two. I think we can. Wait, no crafting CPUs are available. 1953 bytes used. Okay, I see. I see. How about to make a 4K processor? All right. Source ready. Should be able to craft this. Perfect. Now what we can do is remove this. Shift right click. <laughs> like this. Right click. If I click yeah, in the air, just so you don't place it. And it basically removes the thing you have inside. And now you have the crafting unit available. Now we combine it with the 4K. Place it back here. Now we should be able to craft the two hardened solar panels. Perfect. Perfection. Now, can they keep up? Let's see. Why is this thing consuming so much power? That makes a hundred, that makes a hundred, and that makes a hundred still going down. So 300 FE or 300 RF is not close to 112 LF. All right, guys. Solar panels are uh, not really working for me. So I am making the reactor hardened version. I really hope this is, uh, this is actually fine noise let's actually test it now it's keeping up finally guys we just needed a hardened reactor that's all but it's eating through uranonite like crazy all right guys check this out now we've got some uranonite made from the mining drill which is amazing and then i also have this setup now i'm not sure if it's the best setup but this is what i came up with so we've got power cable coming out from the reactor going into an energizing rod and then this thing is making all the uranonite that the reactor will need now what this does is when this thing has an item it sends out a redstone pulse that stops a hopper as you can see hopper is low now i tried doing this uh, without the redstone repeater and just redstone and it didn't work. this worked for me guys next thing i did is get some diamonds through the mining rig i was getting so many ores i couldn't keep up with placing them down <laughs> noise six stacks it's amazing guys amazing well guys that's a lot of blocks nine frames six silos three intakes three ducts Two cabinets, one warning strobe, one controller. And check this out, it needs so much stuff. Do we want to make it? We do. Noise.
Oh yes. Alright guys, this thing is amazing. Amazing. I've got some emerald ores. At one point, we will mine them. Next thing I want to do is actually create an ore data card, which includes all the ores. I want to see if that's possible. Alright guys, let's see. I've got an empty data card. Wait, what? Doesn't take lapis. Anyways, will it handle it? Alright guys, actually we can write more. We can write the emerald as well. Alright, it's done. But the richness is at 50%. Hmm any enriched thingy my bob reached oh we do have a stack well let's try it all right the stack was four percent richness worth it i don't know i don't think so all right a hundred and thousand and six hundred cycles remaining i need a bigger chest i need a bigger chest well, yeah we can just leave it here now yeah guys unfortunately the thing is not keeping up it did make some ores but it needs more energy oh wait hold on a sec Wait, what? This thing was not keeping up? Feels like it is keeping up now. Yeah, it's keeping up. Alright guys, next thing I want to make is the pulverizer factory. Alright, let's see this thing in action. Noise. Alright guys, we are getting a ton of resources, ton of different plates. I stopped the mining rig for a bit. I want to fill up 10 million of energy in this lazuli core. In the meantime, I am guessing the last factory on. Actually, let's make them both. That's going to be the compressor, which makes plates and the furnace. Alright guys, I filled space for our factories, hopefully this is enough. Pulverizer, electric furnace, solid infuser, compressor. Alright guys, the card is finished. Now I'm not sure if I can uh, reuse it, but anyways, here are the results. That's actually very nice. All right, the fortune modules are almost done on our amazing drill. Oh, so much red. Oh my god. All right, guys, I think we can craft. 36 blazing capacity. Alright guys, let's see. I crafted an extra set of hardened reactor. So I think now make blazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Wait, 36. Iotic capacity. Oh my god, so many emeralds guys. Alright, 36 spirited capacity. That's gonna take a while. Alright guys, I also need some brass. And to get brass, we need some blaze burners with blazes. Now uh, we got the thing we need. Just need to click with an empty blaze burner. Which is easy to make actually. Never act and some iron shit. On a blaze and we get the blaze burner. Now I needed them because you need a blaze burner. Where is it? To make mechanical crafter. Because the only way to get brass is by mixing it in a heated mixer the blaze burner underneath so let's get some brass i want i want these crashing wheels so i don't have mine emerald diamonds redstone etc
Now, also, guys, the, the things for the reactors. Reactor nitro. All should be done. Is the crafting pattern. Voice. Reactor. Craft. Let me type. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Paste the pattern. Spirited one. 36. Next. Ooh. Spirited reactor, guys. That's amazing. Uh -oh. It's making 80,000. All right, both wheels are spinning. Let's put in some diamonds. Nice. All right, let's see. Get all the diamonds. I'll definitely call as well. Guys, I also removed two of each. Two stacks of coal, two stacks of diamond, and two stacks of nicolite. And uh, yeah, I will use them in a new data card. But here we go, guys. All right. This is amazing, amazing. Nice. All right, let's set up the mining rig. The card is ready, guys. 84%. Richness, 40. No idea what richness does. Anyways, card is in. Two mining rig drills. Oh my god. Why is it going so fast? Anyways, we let it mine, guys. So, guys, I'm making empty enhancers. Basically, I'm going to enhance the machines with more speed. Maybe a buffer. Four per slot. Oh, so we're going to do four of those per machine. One slot. And then all the rest will be this. Speed enhancers. Apparently, guys, lapis is the most valuable resource of the park because you cannot mine it with the mining rig. All right, guys, we got 16 buffer enhancers and 12 speed enhancers. Now, we should be able to go like a so. Oh my God, guys, check this out. Check this out. That's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. All right, guys, the amount of resources is insane. It's insane. I cannot keep up with everything. Nice. All right, next thing we need is an energy cell. Now, you need to take the energy cell and click it inside the energy. Wait, energy cell inside the ender cell. Shift left click, I believe. Yep. And now you've got a network with 10 million power. Very nice. Nice. Very nice. The next thing I would like to do is set up a better ender cell inside the... Oh, that's actually easy. So do we need ender cell? No, we need energy cells. Energy cell. And I want the spirited one. Okay, so we need all the levels before it. Right, I made the patterns. Now let's see. How about five? How about uh, one? Yeah, that's nice. So this should be fine. Actually, let's sleep. Let's sleep because our applied energistic system is currently working on uh, on solar energy, and we can actually fix that. Five k Fe per tick. That's definitely enough. Now it will not work on solar. It will work on the reactor, which is perfect. All right, guys, it's done. It's done. Let's get to the ender cell. How much energy will that give? Like space. We got 10 million. 410 million. <laughs> that is amazing. That is amazing, guys. All right, guys, the data card is finished. Let's check out the results. Oh, damn. Damn! Anyways, guys, I think that's it for today's episode. We have done so much, so much in this episode. So many factories, so many ores, power reactor, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. But all that will help us move through the pack. And yeah, guys, I hope you stay tuned for what's coming up. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.